What's one sentence you will never hear me say in summer? Man, I really wish it were warmer outside. Winter, come back to me! Hello, Word Nerds, and happy Thursday! It is July 3rd! Tomorrow is July 4th! American Independence Day! Are those fireworks outside my window or gunshots? I may never know. America. Today on the circulation desk, I'm going to answer a question that we as the word nerds have gotten from you guys a couple of times, and that is, I want to be a writer or an author or work in publishing. What do I do for school? The answer to this is pretty varied. There is no one specific degree you necessarily need to go into writing. There are more tailored degrees if you're going into editing or a specific branch of publishing, but as a writer there is no one hard and fast rule to follow when it comes to school. My best suggestion is if you're in high school right now, start writing immediately. Whether it's in a creative writing, journalism, extracurricular class, or if it's an after-school program or club that you guys can either start up yourself if you don't already have one or join, as often as you can, write, because that's really what being a writer is about, is practice, and you gotta start practicing early and often, no matter what. <laughs> Personally, I'm going into my fifth year of college. I am double majoring in English and creative writing with a specialization in fiction. And that means this year, my fifth year, I'm going to be a super senior. Did you know that's what they're called? I need a cape. Pronto. So in my college career, I have studied everything from mass media law, journalism, public relations, marketing, new media writing and publishing, literary agency, working in houses, publishing business of, comma, the business of publishing is what I meant to say there. I've taken lit classes, I've taken English classes, grammar classes, uh, context, syntax classes. It's been all over the board. I've even taken a couple of workshop classes which have been hands down my favorite. One of my early creative writing classes, we tried our hand in a few different kinds of writing. We wrote a memoir, a short play, poetry, and even a couple of fiction short stories. Then for my writing workshop I did, we spent the entire semester revising one short story that was only 10 pages long. After the first week we finished writing it, gave it to the group, they would give us revisions, we could not respond to their criticism and critique, and then we'd have to revise it over the next couple of weeks of class. By the end of the semester, the story that I came out with was pretty different from the one I went in with. That was a good class. I love my degree, but before I transferred into my creative writing and English program, I was studying communications, a specialization in journalism, with a minor in humanities. That gave me a lot of different options other than just going into writing. I could go into journalism, I could go into public relations, because I did take a bunch of classes in that. I could go into any kind of office setting, and I wasn't just focused on the creative writing side of things. It was a more practical application of writing until I knew for sure 100% that I wanted to go and be an actual author. It was a safe option for me because I was given so many opportunities and I really advise you if you're unsure about it to look at a degree like that before specializing in creative writing. You can always minor in it or take special classes and electives in it and it, you'll still be fine. If you guys are thinking about studying writing in college, let me know in the comments below. And make sure to join us this Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Our live chat is about villains! I love villains. Maybe that says something about me as a person, but... I hope to see you guys there. Until then, I love you nerds with all of my heart, all of my overheated, a little bit fainty feeling heart, and I will see you Sunday.